Hey guys, how you doing? Let's take a look at uh, complex roots of quadratic equations. Could there be a worse title? I don't know. Well, that's pretty rough. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It won't be so bad. Um, you know how to complete the square already. You've seen complex roots, but if you forgot what those mean, you'll see what they mean in a second here. Let's just do this together. First off, you tell me. What order does this need to go into? I couldn't hear you. I still couldn't hear you. Oh, I heard that. Okay, yeah. You're right. That's it. 3x squared minus x plus 5 equals 0. Okay. All right. So, first thing we need to do is divide by 3 all the way across. All right. So, now we have x squared minus, I just said minus, and I wrote plus. That made no sense at all. Okay. It's going to be an interesting lesson today. All right. Minus a third x uh, plus five thirds, and I'll just leave some space here. And of course, it's zero divided by three is zero. All right, so what does this number need to be? This number needs to be one half of a third, which is one sixth, and then that's squared. So it's got to be one thirty six. Well, we don't have one thirty six, we have five over three. And if we want to go ahead and turn this into a 36, we multiply by 12, and we take the 5, and we multiply that by 12. Okay. So, whoa, wait a minute here. So to get to this, we're going to have to subtract. Uh, if we're at 60 over 36, we're going to have to subtract 59 over 36, right? To, in other words, to go 60 over 36, then... To get to 136, we're going to need to, to subtract 59 over 36. Well, we got to do it to the right side as well. Okay, here we go. All right, this is a mess. Okay, so x squared minus the third x, and now we have a nice, beautiful plus 1 over 36. Unfortunately, we have a nice, horrible negative 59 over 36 over here. All right, so we know what, we know what to do now, right? We just go, and that's going to be squared. And what's going to give you that uh, squared and add up to one third if you you know do it twice? That's a negative one six, right? Okay. So we have negative fifty nine over thirty six. Now here's where it gets interesting. You can, so far this is, looks normal, right? The only thing that looks kind of bonkers is this thing to the right, okay? Because you tell me what's our next step. What's going to what's not going to be normal about this next step? Take the square root, right? Okay, if you take the square root of this, you're in good shape, right? X minus the sixth. You take the square root of a negative number, you have an imaginary number, okay? That's the, the source of where it says complex roots, okay? So what we need to do is we need to go, okay, well, you can visualize this if you want to. Negative 59 is the same thing as 59 times the square root of, uh, the square root of 59 times the square root of negative one, right? That's the, the definition of what we have here. Of course, we have this is called i, right? So over here we have, and don't forget your plus and minus, we have a square root of 59 i over the square root of 36, and there it is, okay? And the only thing different we're gonna have to do is just, move, not different, but the only thing we have to do left is move the sixth over. So x is equal to one over six plus or minus the square root of 59 i over 6. And if you want to, you can write this to where they're both over the same denominator, which is a 6. Okay, once again, this is kind of bonkers because you're going from, you know, this positive number, which was 5 thirds at the beginning, into this smaller number, which means you have to subtract, which means from 0 you're going to have a negative number. Same old thing, though. You know, you can look at this and go, okay, that's 59, and then i, positive, negative, same thing in most ways, though. So that's the only difference. A complex root has you know, imaginary numbers in it. So, okay, well, let's take a look at this one. Copy down if you want to. Pause it. And let's we'll stick this baby in order. First here, we got 5x squared. We got negative 2x. We got, I'm moving the 3 over, so it's going to be a positive 3. And then I have a 0. Okay, so we divide by 5, right? We hate that 5x squared. We hate it. Just making sure we had enough hate out there. All right. If x squared minus 2 fifths x 
and then plus 3 fifths, that's going to equal 0. And I'll just kind of hold off right here what I need. All right, so we need to go, well, half of negative 2 fifths is negative 1 fifth, right? Just one of them. So uh, negative 1 fifth times negative 1 fifth, we need 1 over 25 to be this entire total. And that ain't what we have. Okay, we got 3 fifths. Well, let's go ahead and rewrite 3 fifths as a number with a 25 in the denominator. So we're going to multiply the bottom by 5 and multiply the top by 5, which gives us 15. Okay, so to go from 15 20 fifths, we don't want that. We want 1 25th. We're going to have to subtract 14 20 fifths. And over here, we're going to also have to subtract 14 20 fifths. Okay, all right, so let's rewrite this. So where we got x squared minus 2 fifths x plus 1 25th equals negative 14 20 fifths. There we go. Okay, now we know what to do, right? Square root. So we got x, half of that is what you always want to mess with, minus a fifth, or a square root of that, squared equals negative 14 over 25. Okay, now we of course take the square root. It's an easy job on the left, x minus a fifth. It's also an easy job on the right. All I have to do is kind of go, okay, well visually we go, or mentally, whatever you want to do it. Negative 14 is the same thing as 14 times negative one. You take the square root of that, and you take the square root of that, and that's going to give you of course, we go plus or minus the square root of 14 times 5. And then the square root of 25 is 5. And it's the same thing, really. You're just going to move over the fifth, and we get x is equal to 1 fifth plus or minus the square root of 14 over i, also over 5. Of course, we can do this all in one if you want to. Okay? And that's the difference. The only difference is the numbers you're going to get for. Uh, answers are two imaginary numbers, complex numbers. So, um, all right, there you go. Let's try uh, the practice problem here and solve that from, by completing the square. Go ahead and pause your, uh, uh, your television set, you know, your VCR, and then come back to it, and I'll see you in a second. All right, here we go. 5x squared minus x plus 3 equals 0. All right, we divide by 5, which means we get x squared minus a fifth x plus 3 fifths. I'll make some space here. All right, so what does this need to be? It needs to be half of a fifth, which is a negative a tenth. And then negative 10 nine times a negative 1 over 10, excuse me, is 1 over 100. Well, that is not 1 over, that's not 1 over 100. So we're going to have to move this into where it says something over 100. Well, 3 fifths is 60 over 100. I don't want 60 over 100. I want 1 over 100, which means I have to subtract 59 over 100. Over here, that means I have to subtract 59 over 100, all right? So here's our new way of writing it, x squared minus the fifth x plus 1 over 100 equals negative 59 over 100, all right? Now the way we get this all nicely tidied up with a square is we go x minus a tenth, which is again either half of that or the square root of that equals, and I mean, it's still negative 59 on the top and 100 on the bottom. All right, well, take the square root, there we go, and take the square root, which was going to be, don't forget, plus or minus. I got a 59 here, I got the square root of negative 1, which is def defined as i, and then there's the square root of 100 is 10, so I move this over, and I have x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 59 times i over 10. I just did both over the same denominator. So, all right. 
Okay, that was it. That was kind of short, but good. All right, see you guys next time.